Hey chefs, how's it going? Sweet Willie here and well we're not in the kitchen, we're using the remote studios of the Mommy and Gracie show. Uh, I just want to say hey, thank you very much so far for the support. We've achieved over 3,500 subscribers. We want to keep on going. I really appreciate the initial support. I appreciate your comments so far. So, without further ado, uh, there's been a few comments made by the viewers from Sweet Willie's Kitchen as well as the Miami and Gracie Show. And it all stems with uh, Daddy, one of Daddy's favorite hobbies, other than cooking and spending time with the family, is golf. A lot of people think, well, what's golf? It's a bunch of guys walking around, hitting a golf ball, hitting a ball, walking up and down, hitting a golf ball, and uh, wearing funny pants. And that's where Loudmouth comes in. So as you probably know, I'm a big fan of uh, Loudmouth golf. And uh, well, you know what? Anybody can wear khakis. Anybody can wear black, blue, gray, solid color pants, but man, that's not fun. We want to mix things up a bit. So hence the loud patterns of Loudmouth golf. So the viewers wanted to know, well, what does your collection look like? So I put together my collection and we're all gonna, we're gonna go over what the patterns are. And I want everybody to comment if they can, and also tell me what's your favorite pattern, uh, because uh, moving down, moving down the road, and when uh, Sweet Willie gets his new kitchen, Sweet Willie's going to have a, a chef jacket, and the chef jacket is going to be one of these patterns. So, uh, figure figure an idea of what would make it for a good pattern, and uh, put it in your comments below, and. Uh, We'll see what that goes, but we're always welcoming the feedback. So, without further ado, we'll stick with the background for last. Without further ado, um, let me introduce to you, let me introduce to you my Loudmouth Golf Pan Collection. What are we gonna, what are we gonna do? So the first one is a very colorful one that we've got, and, and it's called Birds of a Feather. As you can see, we got the uh, the tropical colors of uh, lime greens and oranges and teal blues and purples and fuchsia. So uh, you know we can wear that with a you know one of the, we. What we like to do is we like to take at least one of these colors and we put a matching solid shirt. Now I Instagrammed my uh, my uh, golf shirts all in a row from white to black and all points in between. So usually we'll wear a solid color shirt with this. So birds of a feather. Uh, that was a. Uh, that was a, a loudmouth exclusive, so we'll just we'll just keep on going down the road here. Uh, this was a very huge favorite of mine, called Liar Liar. As you can see, those are pants that are on fire. Liar Liar, pants on fire. So Liar Liar. Oh, you gosh, you can wear this with an orange shirt, a black shirt, or even a yellow shirt. So this is one of my favorite shirts, and whenever I mean one of my this is one of my favorite pairs. And whenever I'm doing an outing or anything, I always make sure I wear these because they, they, they get a they get a pretty good uh, they get a lot of people get a lot of comments. Uh, Loudmouth also makes uh, a lot of argyles, so something in a sort of a uh, conservative uh, baby blue, dark blue, and white argyle. Uh, I'll wear these on Father's Day. You know, Father's Day. You know, wear blue on Father's Day. So that's a nice color. I like that one. Next one. Wow, this was this one was a this one was part of a uh, a special edition, and uh, I don't know what this was. I think this was called Squirrels. I don't know why, but uh, it's got a sort of a uh, oh I don't know, southwestern theme. But you know you wear these you wear these in the autumn. But I I like them when the heat in the heat of the summertime. You wear them with an orange shirt or even a yellow shirt. I don't know about a brown shirt. How many people have brown shirts these days? comment so here's another uh, one of the older designs and it's called squirrels gone wild this is pretty neat and then you got the black and the gray you got black and gray and white a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow so you know choose one of those colors and, and there you go I guess if you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan this would be something to wear on Sundays a nice one here uh, Loudmouth also has a pattern. It's more of a conservative pattern. It, what they do is they, they'll take a solid pair of pants and they'll embroider a pattern. And these are called Scully. Oh, it's a little, little skull and crossbones there. I thought those were pretty neat. Again, wear a black shirt, white shirt, or really any other color, color shirt. So that's Scully. 
Let's see here. This one was not loud mouth, but I thought this was really cool. This is one that I that I wear on the on the Fourth of July, uh, any special patriotic holidays. And this is from a company called Royal and Awesome. This is the only non loud mouth pair that I have, but I thought these were so cool. And there you go. All right, and that this pattern is called uh, Pars and Stripes. And you see, you got the red, white, and blue with the stars. And this is this is a big favorite on uh, Independence Day, which is Fourth uh, of July here in the United States. Uh, going something a little more conservative, we have the uh, the silver and blacks. This is almost like a take on the uh, on an argyle, but as you can see, they've got the the lined out squares. So uh, again, these are you know nice black shirt, white shirt, gray shirt. Once again, the idea is you wear solid color of any of the colors that are represented here. There we go. All right, moving on to more patriotic themes. June 14th here in the United States is Flag Day. Uh, I guess to commemorate the, uh, the Stars and Stripes. And uh, what better way to uh, use a sort of a colonial theme. And this pattern is called Betsy Ross. I guess you get a pretty good idea what that's all about. So, boom, Betsy Ross. Uh, again, I, I typically wear these on, uh, oh gosh, either uh, June 14th, which is Flag Day, or I'll wear these uh, during the Ryder Cup to you know, support uh, Team USA. You know, if you're feeling patriotic, uh, getting back to more conservative, we got a, a basic black and white hound's tooth, and this is called Oakmont. Why? I don't know. But here we go. That this is Oakmont. This is this is a nice, uh, subtle way if you want to uh, go about your business on the course. So that's what we have here. So let's go to the ones that are behind us here. And what we have here is a. We'll start taking these off the hangers here. Let's see what? Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. What we have here is Dixie. So we got the red, white, and the blue. They, they say this is gray. It doesn't look like gray in the sunlight. It comes off as beige. But again, uh, I, I like the argyle. I like the argyle. It's colorful and uh, it does a uh, you know it does its justice. It's relatively conservative. But hey, this was a special one. And anybody out there who likes Van Halen could under, could uh, recognize this pattern here. Uh, this is called uh, what is this called? Volcano. So uh, any again, any any Van Halen uh, fans out there would understand the. And here's the thing: if this is volcano, and this is volcano, and this is Van ha uh, Van Halen themed. What song are they referring to? All right, you Van Halen fans, let me know. This one here, this is called Four Squared. I don't know. This is sort of has a, a techie feel to it. So Four Squared, sixteen, sixteen, uh, two hex. So uh, 16 or 2 8 bit. Getting back to back to the jungle. You can see you got zebra zebra prints. This was a uh, a redo of one of the earlier uh, patterns that Loudmouth came out when they first started. Uh, they gave it a jungle theme. So uh, this was a uh, this was came out earlier this year, and it's called uh, Back to the Jungle. Slide these down a little bit so we can make room. All right, now we're getting into uh, towards the end here, and this is a, another one of my patriotic theme. This is uh, Captain USA. This is a, uh, a take on the, uh, the Captain Thunderbolts, which we'll see in a few minutes, and uh, the Captain USA. So we're going with the red, white, and blue uh, with a little bit of the lightning bolts. So this is a uh, a, a, a variation of Captain Thunderbolt, and we've gone over to. All right, let's move that over a bit. I get some room here. All right, moving on. Another blue and white check. Uh, these are called Derby checks. Uh, Loudmouth also puts uh, a pattern out, which are black and white checks, and they call that finish line. So you can figure what that's all about there. And those of us who are in the NASCAR and the, in the car racing world. Uh, this is probably my favorite pattern. Captain Thunderbolt. 
and got the rainbow on that. And this is one of the one of the older, uh, more steadfast uh, patterns that Loudmouth offers. They also offer a lot of the accessories in this pattern, like my putter grip has this pattern on it. I have a tie with this pattern. I also have a pair of shorts like this. This is one of my first pair of loudmouths that I bought, Captain Thunderbolts. So over here, let's 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 finish. We got uh, three of the final ones, and here we go. These are the uh, blue and blue and gold splashes, and uh, these are these are these are nice. They go a nice a yellow or a navy blue shirt. Can we go there now? We all want to be festive during the holidays. So I'm going to take this off here so you can see this pattern here. Uh, this was offered during the holidays. And this is, I think, I don't know what it's called, Frosty or or something or other. But uh, again, it's the uh, the solid color with the embroidered snowman. So this is something that, that I would wear at a Christmas party or something. I think that's pretty cute. I think that year when uh, these came out, they uh, sent us a pair of socks to go with them. And last but not least, uh, this is called Danger. And this is a homage to the movie Caddyshack uh, and the, uh, the final match at the end of the movie. Uh, Rodney Dangerfield's character wore this pattern with a blue shirt. So uh, this was pretty much the uh, I don't know. This is the quintessential uh, golf pants of the early 80s. So, so that's what we went with. So, well, I hope you enjoyed our little tour of my uh, Loudmouth Golf Pants collection. Uh, don't forget to comment. Tell me what your favorite one is. And uh, remember, we'll, we'll probably uh, go back to this video as part of a... Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to take suggestions on what my uh, chef jacket pattern should be because we're going to go with one of these patterns that you just saw. So please don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll get first dibs and you'll get first uh, the earliest notice of any of the new videos that are going to come out. So again, I want to thank everybody for watching. Please subscribe. Like I said, you'll get a first, you get a first hand, uh, you get the earliest news on any of our new videos. And, uh, once again, this is Sweet Willie saying thank you very much. Keep watching and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.